Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we'll learn how to use commands in the terminal in Linux Mint and I'll show you essential Linux Mint terminal commands tailored for users who are more accustomed to the graphical user interface. While the graphical user interface is user friendly, mastering these terminal commands will help you take full control of your Linux Mint system and perform tasks more efficiently. With these commands, you can keep your systems updated, install and remove software and maintain a clean and efficient system. Let's get started and before we start, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful and interesting videos on Linux Mint. And if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and smash the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Before we dive into the commands, let's briefly introduce the Linux Mint terminal. The Linux Mint terminal is a text-based interface where you can interact with your system by typing commands. It's a powerful tool for both beginners and experienced users. And our first command is going to be sudo apt update. The sudo apt update command is an essential Linux Mint terminal command used to refresh the package information on your system. It updates the local database of available software packages and their versions from the repositories. Keeping your packages information up to date is crucial for maintaining a secure and functional Linux Mint system. When you run sudo apt update, you ensure that your system knows about the latest software releases and security updates available. Simply type sudo apt update and press enter. You'll typically need administrative privileges, which is why sudo is used to run the command with super user privileges. You might be prompted to enter your password to confirm your identity, when you run sudo apt update, your system contacts configure software repositories. It checks for changes in the repository databases, such as new packages, updates to existing packages, and security patches. After running the command, you'll see a list of repositories being updated, along with process indicators. If there are any updates available, they will be listed as well. It is recommended to run sudo apt update regularly, especially before installing new software or performing system upgrades. This ensures that your system has the most recent package information. By regularly using sudo apt update, you'll keep your Linux Mint system secure and ensure that you have access to the latest software and improvements available in the Mint repositories. After running sudo apt update, you typically follow it with the sudo apt upgrade to apply any available updates to your installed packages. And the second most popular command is going to be sudo apt upgrade. The sudo apt upgrade command is used to upgrade the installed software packages on your Linux Mint system to the latest version. It installs newer versions of packages that have been updated in the repositories. Regularly performing sudo apt upgrade is essential for keeping your system secure and up to date. It ensures that you have the latest bug fixes, security patches and improvements for the software you have installed. So just type sudo apt upgrade and press enter. When you run sudo apt update, the package manager or the ATP checks the repository databases to see if there are any new versions of packages that are already installed on your system. If newer versions are found, it prompts you to confirm whether you want to install them. The terminal will display a list of packages that are scheduled for upgrade along with the amount of disk space that will be used. It will ask for confirmation before proceeding. You can usually confirm the upgrade by typing Y for yes. During the upgrade process, some packages may require configuration changes. In some cases, you might be prompted to choose between keeping your current configuration or accepting new configuration provided by the package maintainer. It's recommended to run sudo apt upgrade regularly, ideally after running sudo apt update command. This ensures that your installed software is kept current and secure. By using sudo apt upgrade on a regular basis, you help maintain the stability and security of your Linux Mint system by applying important software updates in a timely manner. The third command we're going to learn today is going to be sudo apt install. The sudo apt install command is used to install new software packages on your Linux Mint system. It allows you to add new software or applications to your system quickly and easily. This command is essential for expanding the functionality of your Linux Mint system. It enables you to install a wide range of software from productivity tools and development environments to utilities and games. To execute it, you just need to type sudo apt install followed by the name of the package you want to install. You'll typically need administrative privileges so sudo is used to run the command as a super user. You need to specify the exact name of the package you want to install. It's essential to know the correct package name as Linux Mint relies on it to locate and install the software. 
sudo apt install fetches the requested package from the software repositories configured on your system. These repositories are sources of software maintained by the Linux Mint team and the broader community. The package manager ATP automatically resolves and installs any dependencies required for the software you want to install. Dependencies are additional software packages that the main package relies on to function correctly. When you run sudo apt install, the terminal will display the list of packages that will be installed, the amount of disk space they will occupy, and any additional packages that will be upgraded as part of the installation process. It will ask for your confirmation before proceeding. You can use sudo apt install whenever you need to add new software to your system, whether it's a web browser, text editor, programming language, or any other application, this command streamlines the installation process. By using sudo apt install, you can quickly and efficiently extend the capabilities of your Linux Mint system by adding new software and application tailored to your needs and preferences. The next command is going to be sudo apt remove. It's going to be opposite from the install. The sudo apt remove command is used to uninstall or remove software packages from your Linux Mint system. It allows you to delete install software you no longer need. This command is essential for managing your system's software. It helps you free up disk space and keep your system tidy by removing applications and packages that are no longer required. To execute it, you just type sudo apt remove followed by the name of the package you want to uninstall. You need to specify the exact name of the package you want to remove. It's crucial to use the correct package name to ensure that you uninstall in the intended software. The terminal will display a list of packages that will be removed along with the amount of disk space that will be freed up. It will ask for your confirmation before proceeding. It's especially useful when you want to remove software you've installed but no longer use. After removing software with sudo apt remove, you can reclaim disk space and maintain more organized system. If you change your mind and want to reinstall a previously removed package, you can use sudo apt install with the package name. By using sudo apt remove, you can efficiently manage the software on your Linux Mint system, ensuring that you have only the application you need and keeping your system clean and well organized. Alright, let's talk about the next command, sudo apt purge. The sudo apt purge command is used to completely remove software packages from your Linux Mint system, including their configuration files. It ensures that all traces of the package are deleted from your system. While sudo apt remove uninstalled packages but retains their configuration files, sudo apt purge goes a step further by removing everything associated with the package. This is particularly useful if you want to perform a clean removal of software and its configuration. To execute it, you just type sudo app purge followed by the name of the package you want to purge. Specify the exact name of the package you want to purge. It's essential to use the correct package name to ensure that you're removing the intended software. Sudo apt purge not only removes the package itself but also deletes any associated configuration files. This ensures that all remnants of the package are removed from your system. Like sudo apt remove, sudo apt purge also checks for dependencies that were originally installed along with the package. If those dependencies are no longer required by any other installed software, they will be marked for removal as well. The terminal will display a list of packages including the package you purging and any dependencies that will be removed. It will also show the amount of disk space that will be freed up. The command will ask you for your confirmation before proceeding. Sudo apt purge is especially useful when you want to completely remove a package and its configuration files to perform a clean reinstallation or to ensure that no traces of the software remain on your system. You can use sudo apt purge whenever you need to perform a thorough removal of software from your system. It's beneficial for situations where you want to start fresh with a particular application or package. After purging a package with sudo apt purge, you can choose to reinstall it using sudo apt install if needed. This command combination allows you to perform a clean reinstall of software. By using sudo app purge, you can ensure that software and its associated configuration files are completely removed from your Linux Mint system, providing a clean slate for reinstallation or system maintenance. The next popular command we're gonna learn today is sudo apt auto remove, removing unneeded dependencies. The sudo apt auto remove command is used to remove software packages and dependencies that were automatically installed but no longer required by any other software on your Linux Mint system. Over time, your system can accumulate packages and dependencies that were initially needed by some software but are no longer necessary. Running sudo apt auto remove helps you keep your system clean, free up disk space and maintain efficient package management. To execute it, type 
sudo apt auto remove and press enter. sudo apt auto remove scans your system for packages that were installed as dependencies for other software but are no longer required by any installed packages. The terminal will display a list of packages that are marked for removal along with the amount of disk space that will be freed up. It will ask for your confirmation before proceeding. Running sudo apt auto remove periodically is recommended to keep your system tidy and free from unnecessary packages. It's especially useful after you've installed and removed several packages as it helps clean up any residual dependencies. sudo apt auto remove is beneficial for maintaining a lean and efficient system. It ensures that your disk space isn't wasted on packages that are no longer needed and it can also help streamline system updates. You can combine sudo apt auto remove with other package management commands like sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to maintain your system overall health. Additionally, you can use it after sudo apt remove or sudo apt purge to clean up any leftover dependencies. By using sudo apt auto remove regularly, you'll keep your Linux Mint system clean and efficient by removing unneeded packages and dependencies, which in turn helps free up valuable disk space and improve the overall performance of your system. Moving on to the next popular command, sudo apt search, searching for available packages. The sudo apt search command allows you to search for available software packages in the repositories of your Linux Mint system. It helps you discover packages related to specific keywords or software you may want to install. This command is a handy tool for exploring the vast array of software available in the Linux Mint repositories. It assists you in finding packages that match your needs or interests, even if you're not sure of the exact package name. To execute it, just type sudo apt search followed by the keywords you want to search for. You can specify one or more keywords in your search query. After running the command, the terminal will display a list of packages that match your search criteria. Each entry typically includes a package name, a short description, and other relevant information. You can use sudo apt search whenever you want to explore available packages or when you're looking for software related to a specific task or application. sudo apt search is valuable when you consider installing new software or want to explore available options. It's also helpful for finding packages related to specific tasks or interests. After using sudo apt search to discover packages, you can proceed to install them using sudo apt install followed by the package name. This command combination streamlines the process of finding and installing new software. You can efficiently explore the vast Linux Mint repositories and discover software packages that match your interests or needs, making it easier to expand the capabilities of your Linux Mint system. Another popular command is sudo apt list install. The sudo apt list install command is used to display a comprehensive list of all the software packages that are currently installed on your Linux Mint system. This command is valuable for getting an overview of the software that is currently available and actively in use on your system. It provides a quick reference for what software you have installed, which can be useful for troubleshooting, system maintenance, or reviewing your software inventory. To execute it, just type in the terminal sudo apt list space two dashes installed, then press enter. When you run the command, it will generate a list of all installed packages on your system. Each entry in the list typically includes the package name and its version number. The list is displayed in the terminal window. You can use sudo apt list installed whenever you want to review the software installed on your system, check for specific packages or perform system maintenance tasks. It's particularly useful when you need to identify and manage installed packages. This command is beneficial for troubleshooting, identifying conflict in packages or simply understanding what software you have installed on your Linux Mint system. It can make you help inform decisions about software management. After using sudo apt list install to identify installed packages, you can perform actions such as updating, upgrading, removing or purging specific packages using commands like sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, sudo apt remove or sudo apt purge. By using sudo apt list install, you gain insight into the software packages currently installed on your Linux Mint system, enabling you to better manage, maintain and optimize your software environment. Let's move on to the next popular command, sudo apt clean. The sudo apt clean command is used to remove cache package files from your Linux Mint system. These cache files are downloaded during package installation and can accumulate over time, taking up valuable disk space. This command is essential for maintaining your system's disk space. Cleaning these files not only frees up space, but also ensures that you're not unnecessarily storing outdated package versions. When you install or upgrade packages, 
using sudo apt install or sudo apt upgrade, the package manager downloads the necessary packages and stores them in a cache directory on your system. This cache is used to quickly reinstall or upgrade packages without downloading them again. sudo apt clean deletes all the cache packages files from the package cache directory freeing up disk space. However, it doesn't remove any installed packages or configuration files. To execute it, just type sudo apt clean and press enter. When running package management commands for the first time since opening the terminal, it will prompt you to enter your password. If you don't have any cache package files to clean, the terminal will not display a message indicating the amount of disk space that will be freed up by the sudo apt clean command. However, if you have cache package files to clean, the terminal will display a message showing the amount of freed up disk space. Running sudo apt clean periodically is recommended to prevent the accumulation of unnecessary cache package files. It's especially useful when your disk space is running low or when you want to ensure your system remains efficient. sudo app clean is beneficial for maintaining a clean and efficient system by periodically removing cache package files that are no longer needed. It's particularly valuable on systems with limited disk space. After using sudo app clean to free up disk space, you can continue to manage your system by using other package management commands like sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, sudo apt remove, or sudo apt purge as needed. By using sudo apt clean regularly, you can ensure that your Linux Mint system remains efficient by preventing the unnecessary accumulation of cached package files, which in turn helps you maintain optimal disk space usage. There we go, so today we learned popular essential Linux Mint terminal commands that will empower you to manage your system effectively even if you primarily use the graphical interface. With these commands you can keep your systems updated, install and remove software and maintain a clean and efficient system. So this is it, if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more Linux Mint tutorials and leave any questions or feedback in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and enjoy using Linux Mint with newfound confidence in the terminal. See you later. Bye-bye.